For the Shenzhou 13 crew's second spacewalk, Taikonaut Zhe Zhigang and Ye Guangfu got the assignment, while Wang Yaping, China's first female spacewalking Taikonaut, supported the mission from inside the Tianhe core module. Shenzhou 13 crew, can open the exit door. Shenzhou 13 crew, understand? Shenzhou 13 crew, open the exit door. The duo out in space managed to adjust the position of a panoramic camera, install another key component for the mighty robotic arm, and test out their synchronized collaboration to an unprecedented level of precision. We insist on the approach that we train on the ground for the job that we would do in space. For all the tasks performed in space, our Taikonauts have been put through underwater mock-ups of weightlessness, with each task practiced more than 10 times. During the training, they work very hard and set very high standards for themselves. It can be seen that they performed each task in orbit very smoothly and completed it confidently. This task further tested the ability of our Taikonauts to perform extravehicular work. In 2021, we tested most of the crucial technology for the space station. The spacewalk capped off a year of historic accomplishments for the men's space mission, and there are more to come in 2022. 2022 is critical to the construction of our space station. We will have six launch missions with Tianzhou 4, Shenzhou 14, Wentian Module, Mengtian Module, Tianzhou 5, and Shenzhou 15 to successively blast off into space. In China's history of manned spaceflight, this kind of intensity and density is unprecedented. Our main goal for 2022 is to complete the tasks of in-orbit launch and assembly during the construction of China's space station. For us, the challenges are enormous. We have formulated a very thorough plan and are pushing forward as planned. In 2022, we will usher in a critical period in the assembly and construction of the space station. Around 2022, we have to complete the assembly and construction of the space station. In this way, we will build a national level space lab where there will be long term human involvement. Here at the Beijing Control Center, we get a sense that the longer the crew have stayed up there in space, the more relaxed they are. Today, we heard them joke around, and of course, we heard that famous mantra, I am out and I feel just fine. Sun Ye, CGTN, Beijing.